Hi, hello everybody, my name is Summer, and welcome to the third episode of FTP Interaction. Yay! Alright, last episode, we made it to the overworld. I set up this portal uh, in a small clip at the end of the episode. So yeah, we made it there, it was night time, it was scary. Yeah, um, we didn't get to do a lot of things, but... But we did find some mandrill trees, and <laughs> yeah, these trees are amazing. We can make these mandrill torches with them, it is mandrill berries. So if you just chop down the tree, you'll get a lot of them and decent sticks. Mandrill torches, yes, and you can also use the stone rods, which is, yeah, still pretty good. Alright, let me dump all these in there, take care of that later. So, um, right, I don't think I've mentioned this before, but if you have a look on beds, they are disabled. Nighttime in the overall is uh, a nightmare. Um, just remember, in here, in the sky block, there are no mobs spawning, no passive mobs, no hostile mobs, n pretty much nothing spawns by default aside players. So, when you go to the um, overworld, you'll see a lot of different monsters and entities, and once we get to Bronze Age, we'll actually have to face even worse monsters. So, yeah, we need to get ready, and for that we're gonna get Minreal Torches, uh, a lot of them. Some kind of um, leather uh, armor, or some kind of armor really, leather is all we have access to. And um, the way we made this is using our ground traps. Um, you just gather some more leather and you see where is it? Oh, I dropped everything here. I'm gonna need five more pieces. There you go. So using these candle berries that we also get, uh, got last episode, and uh, using a pot, we got we get press wax. And with these and our leather, we get hardened leather, which is great. Because with these, in a, ba in a basic work table and a wooden, yeah, a pair of wooden cutters. And apparently I'm missing something. What am I missing? Oh, it's, okay. A bit finicky again. That's how you get your leather armor. Yeah, let's go ahead and equip that. I also have a scanner. And the reason for that is... Because we're going to actually start looking for ores, same as we do a little bit of exploring. Um, it's going to be necessary. You'll see here quests. That This is this is the part where people normally get freaked out. They're like, oh, I don't know what to do. So many possibilities. It's just all there together. And that's no problem, really. Because you you know you, you're going to start using Greg Tech And Greg Tech uses Steam. When is wooden materials you need for Steam? You will basically need some solid fuel and water and one of the best ways to get water since there is not infinite water in this pack either unless you are next to a you know river or ocean um would probably be the water wells or the infinite water source from foamcraft anyways this counter okay let's get that uh the very or well, the easiest way to get a scanner let's say is just through emc you see it right there and you can also get a blank scanner model and yeah, we just made that using some coverless and stars and whatnot. There you go. So using the scanner, we saw uh, right, save, right click the words. Yeah. yeah, let's put that in there. And now if you hold right click, you see charging, it will emit some kind of wave around you and it will find ores for you. Which obviously is not finding anything right here, right now, because we're in the sky world or the void world. So. We got our armor, we equipped that, okay, uh, some food, this flint knife, you actually need these to make bowls, and yeah, that's uh, interesting, because you just make the basic one and it gets far aspect too. Alright, some leads in case, in case we find some animals, uh, stone drum, which is made with that knife to make a bowl, and this is stone drum. Um, we're gonna need these for, uh, to collect some mana. Uh, liquid some tools as I said just some rudimentary pickaxes axes some shears for food a bow because we need to need protection and some healing potions and again tons and tons of torches 
And I think that's everything right now. I'm actually gonna give just some chests so we don't have to come all the way here over and over. That's, uh, yeah. So, let's go. Alright, now, in the overworld. I'm um, just gonna probably light up the place a little bit. Because uh, we don't want to wait for night time and get su any surprises. And as we look around, I'll show you what origin means in this pack. Or how it works, really. Uh, what is this? Kokosh. Okay. Uh, I probably need a few of these for later on. Okay, uh, you see all these flowers, like the Aloe Valley, wherever its name is, and we got an achievement. Now, if we have a look again at our quests, Aloe Valley will give us copper, which means somewhere down here there is a copper vein, and if we mine down, we'll mine just as well get it, of course. <laughs> um, these flowers will tell you what mineral would thing you'll find underneath and the ones you should focus at the beginning at least in my opinion or from my point of view are these six because you're gonna get R infused or air infused vein you know all the thumbcraft stuff ignis uh ordo and all these things all these goodies which we are going to need to if we have a look at magic stick are uh, this this six right here we're gonna need these in order to even attempt to start missing with uh, Famcraft. So, Mana Bucket, yeah, we're definitely gonna need that, then Salus Moon, this and whatnot. So, then what flowers are we gonna look for right now? We should be looking for Cataplants, Ascent Copper Leaves. I've seen these around, the Isolepis, Bull, whatever. Yeah, so we'll have a look around. I'll try to get all the new flowers like that one. African Lily, which one are you and what do you do? You're not important right now. So yeah, let's move on and let's try to keep on finding this. As well as light out the place, because yeah, that's that's definitely more important right now. Again, night time is coming and it's dangerous and scary. We're gonna need some more vanilla flowers. Why not? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll see you in a second. Ooh, chestnut. Plants. I see some light there. I could have used my cheers. <sighs> Alright, I guess that was our first death, but uh Isolepis thingy. These these will contain Terra. So if we use our scanner around and it's not too deep underneath, alright, that's 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 a big vein right there. That's probably what we're gonna aim for. Okay, let's try then to... Mm -hmm. Oh no, someone's in there. Let's then make our hole here. And light this up. And cover the entrance right now, because we don't want any surprise. Let me just use the scanner one more time. Can you please? Yeah, it's just straight in that direction. Nice. I'm gonna put these in my offhand, like, like so. The interface may be a bit weird, and the closer you are, the weirder it looks, but uh, it is it's just so worth it. I mean, this tells us exactly where to go instead of just strip mining or go and find some ravines. Oh, what is this? Ores already. Terra, 
Okay, that's what we want. Can we vein mine these things, by the way? No, we can't. Oh, that's nice. We can mine all these with our flint tool. We're gonna move on into Tinkers probably today. As soon as we get some oxide, AC, flowers, thingy, whatever. So let's make a new waypoint. Let's click here and let's hit U. By default, U at least. Let's erase these. That didn't happen. <clears throat> and then waypoint, this is going to be called. Mm, Terra. We will leave that there because it's almost daytime, isn't it? Which means we can go outside again and do things. Alright. Things that we're looking for. We're looking for daisies. We're looking for more fruits. Uh, gooseberries, those are all around. Okay, dragon tail. Or horse tail. We're gonna need these later on. Can't believe I don't see any. Hey, there you go. That's the one I'm looking for. Let's get a few of them. Now we just need to find some kind of mana pools. And normally that's not a problem. But I'm not seeing anyone around. Is that a mana pool? It looks blue on flowing, so let's give it a whirl. Let's probably use the table F7. We don't need that anymore. Pears. Yeah, we're definitely going to need pears. If it's fully grown, as you can see there, you can vein mine and get everything around. These more pears. Not going to do it again because of durability, but yeah. What are you? Sarl. This is this one coal. Okay, that's that's actually interesting. Also, let's do the same again and edit you and say coal. All right, well, let's continue. <laughs> what are you? Wisdom, woodlock. And the reason we made our stone drum again is is so we can get some mana. I don't even know how do we make mana, really, these, these, I've always found it in the overworld. And barely use it, to be honest. Oh. Oh. Let's probably get rid of these. Do you get damage or any buff? Oh, oh. do you get damage? Ascension. Sure. Right, let's gather some more. Oh, it's full. It's full now. Right, awesome. Let's drop something like uh, you. I already saved you. And oh, some some animals. Can I get you? Yes. You follow me. You follow me. Same here. Come on. Uh, another one of you. Huh. Let's, uh, by the way, you make them just with string. They are very, very simple to make once you have some plants going on. There. And you lost your thingy, but again, no problem. There. All right, let's try to find some more of these Thumbcraft uh, ores, and I'll come back once we have a few of them. All right. <laughs> See you again in a bit. He's a villager. Oh. What do you have for me? Some emerald nuggets. Ooh, some chestnuts. Alright. We've been wandering around. Do not think. 
Let's go back and do something useful. So, with our stone drum full of mana, we're gonna put that in there. We're gonna put our oxide daisies in there, and what else do we need? Oh, a healing slave. Okay, that's that's also very simple. Let me drop a few things in here. Like so, like so, like so. All the food. We'll come back and get that later on. So our flame knife, our we will get a bowl, and I think it does consume the bowl. So we're probably gonna make another one. And we just need seeds. We're gonna get from here. Something like that. And our healing soul is oh flowers. Did I just drop them here? All of them? Yes, I did. Why is gonna need dandelions, the yellow ones? No matter what. So let's get our mortar. Flint version. These some bones, some bone meals. And let's go here over to the grass. And there we go, one and two. Excellent. Let's go ahead and make our these and another one. Do you stack? No, you don't. Of course you don't. This one here, this one there, and that's a pure daisy. Oh, and it's a full bucket every single one of them. Okay, so let's go ahead and make another one. Didn't you stack? Of course you do. Awesome. Now that we have these, we're actually going to place these. Can I place you here? Yes, I can. And we are going to need... I'm going to take you for the moment. Um, big X. Because we're going to use the pure daisy to turn these into these. And... How do we make a crafting station? Crafting station... Use a regular crafting table. Nice. So let's get four pieces like so. That. And I just put you down here actually let's go ahead and make two because yeah it's gonna be useful let's do that let's do these that and the only reason we got the air materials is we because we're gonna put them here and they're gonna turn into regular crystals so that's gonna give us access to thumb crap and yeah very very handy in the meantime let's go get some more materials some these, these, a chest. That should be everything. So let's do these. Put a blank patterns on top, and this doesn't work because that's one of the recipes it's been changed. Wait a second, you're broken. Let's get rid of you because we're gonna improve our tools very, very, very soon. Let's get a piece of you then. Another blank pattern. Yeah, okay. Let's put some of these down. And again, it doesn't really matter where we put them as long as they are. I guess it does matter, and I'm gonna put them right there. Let's do this here pattern test, stencil table. How do you make the stencil table? Stencil table. Come on. Oh, I guess I didn't try that. Okay, our stencil table. These two have to be touching our patent chest. And that's actually very, very important if you want the multi block to be working. So then our tool station can be go can, can be anywhere like that and these. And just for convenience, I'm gonna place these right here. And this is our setup where we're gonna be able to make everything from Tinkers. Yay! First things first. Pickaxe. Axe. I know we have those already, but doesn't really matter because we can reutilize these. Is this a small one or a big one? 
to save a little one and what am i doing i can just put them in the chest and that's the reason we put it right next to it and our tool rod there you go now moving on here we're actually going to use we're going to change a few things from here we're going to make three of these we are going to make three of these and now here we're just going to go ahead and do that and that one of them is proofed second one and the last one awesome all right let's put these into the toolbox where are the cutters right there also now with our freshly made tools i believe sharpening kits are not a thing in this pack uh wait second stone No, they can't be crafted. Okay, no problem. I guess 195 durability is going to be good enough for now. Let's dump you in here. Get that. Put these, 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 and that over there. Some flowers we're not going to need. Another pure daisy we could probably put down somewhere. Not in here. Probably in the overwall. So let's get you down. And the nice thing about having ecological or made uh, some kind of wood material in our tools is that they're going to restore slowly, but that's, uh, that, 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 that is great. Okay, let's go back to the overall, get some more thumbcraft materials and I'll be back with you. Oh no, it's night time. That was the first monster defeated. Yay! Oh, oh, what is this? Is that like a baby? Unborn baby. Whoa! Okay, whoa! No, 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 no. I don't want to have anything to do with you. I didn't see you. Whoa! That's very scary. That's, that's so scary. No, get away! My god! <laughs> and the sound it makes! No, wait, wait, wait! Are you gonna... Don't go to my... Did you go to the void? No! No way! Oh my god! Poison told me he's here. If he is, I'm, I'm just dead. Oof, no, he's not. Okay. He's disappeared, I guess. Oh, so scary. Alright, let's now put some of these down, some of these terra infused ore, and we'll see that it will turn to something different. Some of the regular crystals you normally find all over the place in the overworld. Same as the tool, well, uh, you know, the pure daisy mechanics, it will just take some time and it will do its thing. In the meantime, let's have a look at our quests. So we got that. That's olivine dust. Ooh, two pieces of iron and gold. That's actually interesting. I didn't get that. We did get these, a black lotus. That's also going to be great for mana gen. Mendry torches. Oh, that's. I'm so happy. All right, mana packet on iron dram. Wow. That's nice. Some of these, some of that. Am I throwing everything on the ground? Oh no, it's this. Oh, my inventory is full. Hey. 
And now we should have space for everything. An iron drum. That's actually really nice. With our ores, um, with our Terra Vs crystals, I mean. If you go back to the quests and you get where is magic stick? Here, right here. Um, I just claim all the rewards, which are all the rest of the crystals, which are nice because uh, we're gonna need a, a lot of them. And I haven't found anything aside Terra, at least so far. Now, um, I've also been mining a little bit and I got iron ore. Iron ore from Greg Tech. But if you look for iron, um, let's say iron ore, you also find these granite, iron ore, also limonite, is it called limonite? Brown limonite, yellow limonite, all these, all these can't be only processed, at least right now, um, using the, the tinkerous complements, and that will give us one ingot per ore, but we know better and we are going to make our iron hammer, which is an early way of dabbling. If you get crash iron ore, which is again just hammering, it doesn't show you the recipe, they just hammering um, some iron ore, you will get these. And using these again, you'll do get the impure pile of iron glass. And with that, you just need to smelt it down. Which is no biggie. The only problem is that we're gonna need a crucible. Oh, I'm sorry, not a crucible, a cauldron. Cauldron, this one here. And for that, we're gonna need six iron plates. Uh, I mean, seven iron plates, which are. Yes, double layers. Again, no biggie. We've mined, I think, more than enough to make all these. But for now, let's get these started. So we're gonna need. It was six for these, for the hammer. Let's put them here in the chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, <laughs> four, five, six. There you go. Maths. Let's get that going. And actually, no, 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 no. Can I, can I stop that from going? I don't want that. Okay, let's go all of them. Three and three, six. That should be all of them. Um, let's actually start with some of this gold that we have. Because I actually want to make one of the... Oh, I have another casting basin. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make a basin. No, it's not the basin, it's called the casting. Yes, this porcelain casting table. I'll make some patterns so I can actually go ahead and make ingots. And I'll be back. Just give me a second. That's our porcelain casting table. Nice. Got pickaxe. that let's put you down and let's get a single piece of gold that's that's everything we need yeah and let's just put this is that gonna be enough no you're actually gonna need one more which is okay and we are going to get a chisel from here any chisel <laughs> the one we have let's get these done come on can i try this now nah, of course we can of course we can't. Let's get that. Let's throw you in there. And uh oh, we got a blank cast. Oh no, what are we gonna do? We're gonna use a chisel and we're gonna turn these into an ingot cast because that's a thing here. Mm hmm. Not only that, um, you've seen that we've used a chisel and it consumes some durability. We'll get a new one. Or actually, no. Yeah. If we need it, you know. So now let's get the six pieces of iron down. One, two, three, four, five, six. There, let's do that. And because we don't care, we're gonna put you down there. Actually, no, there is no. I can't actually take that. So let's do these. Let's put some wood in there. And yeah, we're gonna wait for our six first pieces of uh, iron, and then we'll do the hammer. And I'll show you how to, uh, how very complicated mechanics are hiding behind all these dabbling, at least early on. 
six pieces of iron, stick and a stone mallet will give us our iron hammer. Hey, now check this out. If we do, huh? Wait, is it in a crafting table? Is it here? No. Oh wait, I c I can't use this here. So wait, do I just crush it like this? Yeah, exactly. And that will give us one piece of crushed iron ore, which we can just wash. It doesn't show the recipe here, but we can just wash it in the cauldron. And yeah, we'll get double resources that way. Awesome. Now, uh, in order to make a cauldron or cauldron again, let me look up at the recipe and put it there. We're going to need double or iron plates of some kind. I hope it's not this broad iron plate. Well, is it? No, oh, that's that's fine. We have an extra fire. Just for that. Oh, not again. <clears throat> yeah, awesome. Oh, I hope it doesn't jump to the overworld. And it may. It normally just jumps up and comes down, but <laughs> I'll see, we'll see, we'll guess, we'll, I'll guess we'll see, words. Is this done? Yeah, it is. Okay, I can, we can just use our, let's use you. These and these, double. Awesome. Okay. So we'll get some more iron. And yeah, wait a second. You and you will give me. Yes. Awesome. All right. Now with a raw of iron ore and our hammer, we're going to make a cauldron. Yay. And for the time being, I'm just going to place this one here and I'm gonna keep on doing this water bottle trick if I can and I can awesome and I think I'm just gonna throw this yep all right and just by throwing it I get the centrifuge, centrifuge iron ore which again we are going to crush and just smelt down and that's doubling, or kind of doubling. So these are our hammer that we probably left in this table. Yes, we did. Iron dust. Awesome. That's iron doubling, isn't it? Yeah. So you put it down or you mine it with your iron hammer, you get a percentage chance of doubling that. You can also just do these and get the impure for now. Then if we throw this in here, yeah, iron dust is kind of the same process. All right. So that's ore processing early on. We made it to the upper wall again. We kind of light up the base and all around. I know we didn't get much done, but this is our start. And stars are rough. Especially in, in expert packs like this one. Oh, we have some more to claim. Two pieces of gold. Awesome. Now, in between episodes, I'm going to focus and try and get some more ores, uh, including some regular ores, or <laughs> kind of regular in this pack, uh, such as iron and gold and whatnot. And we'll come back next time. Next time, by the way, we'll probably just straight away, if possible, start with uh, Thaumonomicum and Thamcraft in general.
And our goal will be an ever full urn. Because again, infinite water into any kind of block or machine, that's 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 awesome. There are no sinks or anything in here, so yeah. Again, it was a kind of uh, long episode. I hope you like it. It was my first death already. Uh, yeah. We knew it was gonna happen. So, yeah. Click the like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Um, any comments or suggestions, in, you know, down below. I hope to see you next time. And, yeah. Just have a nice day. Bye!